Hello Guardians, Terrible Acorn 13 here with your Arms Day video for this week. So, let us see what Gifts of Niceness Banshee has for us. We will start with some Soros stuff. First up we have the Soros ARI 41. So, option 1, what do you have for us? We have Perfect Balance, Oil Frame, Speed Reload, Reinforced Barrel, and Hidden Hand. That is a damn good roll. Hidden hand, reinforced barrel, perfect balance. That'll make a accurate, if not slightly unstable, rifle. But the second one we have hammer forged, casket mag, snapshot, rifled barrel, and outlaw. Yep, that is a damn good roll. Outlaw replacing the damage from rifle. Well, but let's see. And then next off we have high caliber rounds, oiled frame, snapshot. Injection mold and partial refund. So number two is the one you're going to want. You've got two range boosters there to boost that range up, and outlaw with the precision kills boosting your reload speed, making up for the hit reload speed that you take. So this is the one you will want to go for. Next up, we have the Soros PDX 45. So let's see. We have fate stock, appended magazine, head seeker, snapshot and small ball. Not a bad roll. Not a bad roll at all. Next up we have Perfect Balance, Feathered Mag, Take a Knee, Single Point Sling and Reinforced Barrel. Uh, I would say the first one edges that one out. Let's see if number three can do any better. Fate Stock, Appended Magazine, Counted Balance, Lightweight and small ball. This is probably the one you're going to want to go for. That will make it a laser. Your hawk so level, level laser. Just all the bullets in the head, sort of pulse rifle. So, uh, my suggestion would be number three. Yeah, Next up, we have the Ilfer Rao D, or however you pronounce that. I'm sure somebody can correct me in the comments. But let's see what it has for perks. First up, the scopes. We have a long distance scope and a standard Raptor. This one has surplus, feeding frenzy, perfect balance, quick draw, and injection mold. Nah. Distinctly average roll. The second one, we have ooh, a low zoom scope, a standard zoom scope with the Raptor, counterbalance, guerrilla fighter. Perfect balance, snapshot, and appended magazine. That's a bit better. I always prefer low zoom scopes. So, and last but not least, we have another low zoom with scout, a raptor standard zoom, unflinching, feeding frenzy, perfect balance, snapshot, and appended magazine. I would say go for this one, low zoom plus unflinching, making that the best option this week. Number three is your sniper of the week. Let's go. Next up we have the Zeriana D. So let us see what this has in store for us. Option one has crowd control, focus fire, high caliber rounds, speed reload, and small bore, which makes this a damn good roll. Those three small bore, yep. It's going to be hard to beat that one out. But option number two, what do you have for us? You have hot swap, spray and play, high caliber rounds, hand loaded, and small bore. Doesn't quite beat that first one out though. Let's see, does number three have anything for us? Number three has last resort, persistence, single point sling, speed reload. And rifled barrel. Rifled barrel being good and would have been amazing if it was on the other one, but this does not quite match up to number one. The crowd control, the extra range, that's definitely the one you want. So next up we have the Azumi RR44. Now so we have a long range and a light low zoom scope. And then we have Grenadier, Lightweight, Hand Laid Stock, Zen Moment, and Mulligan. Well, I do like that holographic scope, so that's a good option so far. Next up we have the Longest Range, and another Long Distance Scope. 
And the perks on this one are Grenadier, Single Point Sling, Rifled Barrel, Unflinching, and Eye of the Storm. Not bad, although I do prefer the low zoom scope with this particular sniper. Next up we have another long range and another long range scope on this one. Then we have Outlaw, Single Point Sling, Reinforced Barrel, Zen Moment, and Mulligan. I'd say this one's maybe going to be a good option if you're wanting a longer range rifle, but this first one here with the low zoom scope on the high rate of fire rifle, plus the perks for improving stability, just makes it probably a damn good five shot hard hitting scout rifle basically, and that would definitely be my option on how to load this gun up. Low zoom scope, good stability build, fast firing, hard hitting scout basically so my option would be number one number three is a good option if you're wanting a longer range one but one is mine now next week we have the Haki Aramis D auto rifle the Umalon Ufron HC4 hand cannon the Haki Haraja D pulse rifle the Umalon Uzumi RR4 sniper and the Umalon Ariana RR4 sniper, so two snipers. And your test weapons. You have the Haki Auto Rifle for Cabal, uh, Saurus Auto for Precision Kills, uh, Omelon Fusion for Minotaurs, a uh, Haki Pulse for Crucible Kills, and last but not least, we have a Haki Sniper Rifle for Double Kills. So that is your Gunsmith video for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video guardians, as always like and subscribe for more Destiny content, hit me up on Twitch or Twitter at TerribleAcorn13, until next time, laters.